Okay, the Mexican reactionaries have risen up. Actually, you know what, Venezuela? You will actually not accept white peace right now. Okay, it kept Texan and then won the American-Mexican War. Or a few manifest destiny. Well, I mean, that would have been nice if the Americans didn't kill me in the uh, Mexican-American War. But unfortunately, they did. Still sieging this stuff down. Okay, apply to 43. Lose a two prestige. You know Venezuela? Sure, screw it. We'll take we'll take the white piece. And we can create some states up here. Nice. Nevada, welcome. You're now an excellent state. Same with uh, Mexican Oklahoma. Okay, but the Texans have left the country, but that's okay. We just gotta deal with our rebel situation right now. Let's gather all of our troops together. We will allow for universal voting. And the conservatives have won the election, which means we can crank taxes back up. We are paying... I mean, we're only paying five bucks in interest. Not the worst in the world. Now you're going to auto-hunt rebels. Uh, we will also demobilize the uh, reserves. Costa Rica? Sure, we can have an alliance. We were just at war with you. Nicaragua now is not my friend. Oh, now they are. There we go. So we've got like a pretty decent like alliance chain going on. Again, it would be nice if Britain would uh, take an alliance as well. Because it would be nice. Infamy. My infamy is a little bit high. I'll, I'll admit that. But it would be nice if Britain was on our side. It would really stop the Americans from just attacking us. At some point in the future. But I believe soon, the United States will probably attempt. Where are we, actually, where are we missing soldiers? Mostly just down here. Build two infantry. I think it's 47 when um, the United States annexed Texas. Historically, I don't know if that's going to happen again this time around. We'll, we'll kind of see if it happens the same year. We're at least, okay, we're making money now, which means our army should at least be able to get funding going, uh, which is nice. And with our, you know, focusing on more soldiers, we can hopefully maybe get some more units going as well. Also, I need to get this open. Thank you. So, like, so like what else is happening around the world? France is not doing anything too crazy. Nobody's doing really anything over here. Colorado, welcome to being a, a full-on state. We got Spain. The Ottomans are were able to hold on to Egypt. We'll see if they can kind of maintain control there. And of course, you know, the Qing did lose. FRCA has gone bankrupt. Get our war gold against them. So who's at war? Costa Rica and Nicaragua are at war with each other. No, they're at war with the FRCA. No, El Salvador is at war with the FRCA. But the FRCA doesn't exist anymore, right? Yeah, they don't they don't exist anymore. The FRCA wants to unite the nation. Oh, it's an event spawned attack. Where the AI is gonna try to Yeah, so it's an event thing that we kind of completely broke. El Salvador also has 33,000 men. Um how do they have that? I guess what we can do is, um, I think it's prov ID, change owner 2199 to the FRC. Oh no, it's FRC 2199, unknown country. Okay. That's Canada? Minion do that's French Canada. That's not what we want. Um, is it? What's what's the um the tag for the for these guys? 
Because now it's all by French Canada, which is not really what we wanted at all. I didn't even know they were actually, like, a tag in this. Um, so I actually need to Google this. Because otherwise, we're going to be at war for infinite time, which is not really what we want. Uh, Vic 2 FRCA tag. The tag is... And we want to look at F. North America, Honduras, CSA, California. Uh, no, no, where, where the hell is, um, Minor Powers? That's oh, UCA, UCA, UCA 2199. So now we actually have somebody that we're actually at war with. And then we'll just transfer it back to... Um, Nicaragua after the war is over. Yeah, El Salvador, sure, you can have military access. It really doesn't make a big difference to me one way or the other. But well, we at least have an army. 21,000 men, it's not a ton, but... But the FRCA does have... A navy for some reason, I don't know. I actually don't know why they have a navy. But you're all at war with this guy, right? Oh, you sever peace out with Nicaragua. Not why are you sever peace out with Nicaragua? Can you give me military access? I mean, I guess I will go do it then, if if that's what we need to do. And now let's again. I'll just transfer it back to um, transfer it back to Nicaragua afterwards. Uh, yes, we'll get some fish. Fish is always nice. By the way, what's the, um, okay, militancy? I mean, it's still increasing. Why is it increasing? War exhaustion, but minority culture. I mean, what is our war exhaustion at? It's at 40. Okay, it is at 41. It's not going to go down because we're at war right now. Uh, which is not great. We'll at least occupy this land. It's going to force a peace between... Everyone, I guess? I don't really know, because it's not... El Salvador against the FRCA. But you're still gonna be at war with El Salvador. But that I don't care about as much, so... In your Nicaragua, right? Yes. It's probably just like NIC. There we go. So are you still at war? You are still at war, but I'm going to be honest, I don't care about what, uh, El Salvador is doing. Okay, we're, oh, again, we're no longer at war. And not being at war makes our life easier. There are a, a, a ton of American troops. They already have 36 divisions. Uh, we're at seven. Which is not good for us. I guess we can just do UCA... And then 2192. There you go. And then, I don't know if it, you might not, um... You might try to annex it once you get 100%. I don't know. But again, we'll just transfer it back to El Salvador afterwards if we need to. You have a core on it, so you should try to get a... No, you do just white piece. Okay. The ELS and then 2192. There we go. And then turn off prov ID. It's not, you know, that distracting, but... I think some people do find it a little distracting, so we'll just turn it off for now. We can get more units. Right now we have a three... I mean, this is a bad ratio. We'll at least want one infantry and let's say one... Asar. Get our units going. We'll also repay our debts. Or anything else, I guess we can cut military spending now to make a little bit more money this way. We're making good money off our tariffs, but we also need to like start building some sort of industry. And because we're interventionalists, we can't build factories ourselves. We gotta completely rely on our capitalists to do anything. I guess we can do this. 
Okay, let's throw more money into the project. There we go. So we're gonna have our first factory. Of course, it's gonna be a winery. Because, I mean, wineries are usually pretty good in Victoria, too. You get good money out of them. Okay, let's go for better infantry. Because we have a lot of infantry. We've got a lot of artillery. And that's basically it. But nobody else is at war with the FRCA anymore. Hello, Hugh Fabus. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I mean, America, they, they do scare me, of course. Do not lose 15 prestige. We spent a lot of time getting our 12 prestige sheeters, so I'm not going to throw it all away for no good reason whatsoever. And yeah, a Dodger at war in Indonesia. Not anything that we need to care about. But we'll see. In like two years, the United States might just annex Texas, which then might give them a ton of cores in our territory, which is scary. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see if... Maybe we can live. And I would like to live. Do you start with an independent Texas? No, Texas starts off in rebellion. Uh, but then the United States came and they killed me. So now now, uh, now Texas is independent. And we're not losing any prestige. Our militancy is still increasing. But I mean, more militancy means we can pass more reforms. Which is usually pretty good. You guys want more voting rights? I mean, sure, we can do... Uh, not secret ballots. Is there anybody else who'd want to be our friend? 10 prestige for $55,000. You know what? No, give me 15 prestige. We're now a secondary power once again. Love to see it. Britain, be my friend. You will not accept. Negative 69. Um, Brazil, would you be my ally? Why is France at war with the British? Why are you at war with everybody? Wait, what's happening in Europe right now? The Rhine crisis? I have never seen... What that? Wait, what's happening in Europe right now? Reparations from the French. Prussia wants Alsace Lorraine. And Prussia wants to give the Rhineland all this territory. So I think Prussia might just form the, um, the North German Federation, like, in 1845, which is pretty good for them. Because France is, I think, going to definitely lose this war. But anyways, I think, let's see if we can get some more allies. Brazil would not accept negative 128. You're all dictatorships who would not accept an alliance offer. What about Argentina? No, 106. I think we basically got all the allies you can probably get right now. Maybe El Salvador? Would you want to be an ally? No. Infamy is too high. And are you you're actually at war basically everyone except for uh Frankfurt of Maine if they want to be independent for now. How are you guys doing? You have 144. The Treaty of Paris. Texas actually is not part of the United States anymore. They're actually, okay, they're still friendly with the United States. But they're not in their sphere. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that does make sense of being a strategy. It was something that I was thinking about, but... I, I just I was just hoping that uh well because they weren't friendly yet so I thought we might be we're fine by the way Bryn would you sell me Belize how much money fifty five thousand dollars hey if I prestige well you bought Belize off the British so thank you Bryn for uh allowing you to buy this territory Guatemala now has all of this land. And our winery... Okay, no, it's still being produced. You want, about, you want to build more wineries. Why is there so many unemployed people? I mean, we'll, we'll keep on funding whatever we can right now. And hope that the United States next year does not just invade us. Which they might. 
There might be an invasion. By the way, Max, are we still allies? We are still allies. And then we do like each other, even though I have cores over your entire country. Yeah, we should just like admit, take everything in the South America. We'll be the leading Latin American country. Prussia, of course, has taken Alice of Lorraine. Uh, very early on. So you might see like a really early German Empire. Britain. We're not anybody's... Is anybody's fearing us? We're actually friendly to the United States. They might actually put us in their sphere. Or deal with the Spanish. But, I mean, what, what can you do with Spain? Spain's not going to do anything. Spain's kind of garbage. But other than that, I think we're doing pretty, pretty well. How are relations doing? I mean, everyone basically actually likes us. Colonial is the way to go. We'll just start like a... What if we just start like a massive... Mexican African Empire. California! You are now my core territory. Welcome. By the way, how is immigration doing? Uh, it is not you. We're getting about a thousand immigrants. The United States is getting three thousand. Texas is getting about two thousand. I mean, we're, we're definitely one of the better countries. I guess we are like in a republic. We're not like a dictatorship like many of the countries in South America are. And you're friendly with Texas. You're friendly with us. And of course, we want to be jingoists. We want to be basically as jingoists as possible. At least for now. Maybe things will change. Also, we can, you know, increase the size of our army. Let's put you one province down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now build one more um, cavalry unit. Get these guys training up. Any new? No, you're in, you're actually in 1860 tech. Get yeah, railroads. Railroads are always really really nice. We're actually at 40 prestige right now, which is like way better than I would have thought. And you are now at war. Again, still with more people in in Indonesia. So I'm expecting soon we're probably going to see the uh, Prussian Austrian brothers war happen. Which will probably see Prussia, honestly, maybe even unite all of, um, all of North, uh, all of Germany, basically. All North Germany and South Germany. Definitely would not be impossible. I think we can actually build, like, yeah, two more, inf more units as well. We'll have, like, a decent-sized army. I think we do want to start pulling these troops at least a little bit up north for now. But America, what are your ambitions? What are your thoughts? Tech towards more education? Um, I mean, it makes sense. But I mean, I literally see that 5.2%. I think it has doubled. I think we started at 2.2. So the Mexican people are getting smarter. The supply limits up in northern uh, Mexico are just atrocious. Let's get the hell out of here. And you were a nice 18 stack. Training three more units. You guys need luxury clothes. If that's the case, you build just like shady basic cavalry. I don't think they need anything luxury. I don't, yeah, like I know um, education reforms are really good. But I don't think nobody in the entire country wants school systems. The reactionaries and conservatives and the liberals all vote no. Which, uh, you know, isn't great. We will increase education funding, though. Put it up to 82. Like, we're making decent money. And I believe at this point in time, um... Use Fire Prestige? Absolutely not. Like, I think historically in 1848, Texas is already part of the U.S. I might be wrong. Okay, no, now they're demanding the territory. They've annexed Texas, and now they claim all my lands. The United States of America demands Northwest Territories. 
For $100,000, really? Okay, so... Uh, Mexican-American War. I... I honestly think we are going to lose. However... See your prayers? Oh, no. Uh, increase military spending, please, and thank you. Anybody friendly towards us? No, everyone hates us. But Colombia said yes to the war. We cannot go to war against Sphere Leader. Costa Rica's in the Sphere. Colombia, my, my good friend. You've always had my back. Are you going to mobilize? Here's my thing. Would it be? Do you think it would be better for us to mobilize... Gain twenty thousand dollars. Sure, we're gonna to work to California as well. Call any and all allies. Well, both of our allies are in the American sphere, so they won't actually join the war. But here's my question: Will it be better for us to mobilize, get seventeen more divisions, or just fight the forty-two stack? Because if we mobilize, America is definitely going to mobilize. So I think it's actually in our best interest to do nothing, or not not to do nothing, but to not mobilize. You want to be my ally? Negative 1,000. Hey, you want to be my ally? You not accept? Negative 339. Spain! You want to be my ally? Negative 332. Okay, well, just hide and cry. Look, all we need to do is fight for a white piece. And that's it. They need 56 to actually enforce their demands. Which, you know, isn't nothing. I think we need to basically be... 20, yeah, go over to here. We are going to need to only take defensive actions. That's kind of the way I see this. Think they mobilize? No, the AI... Okay, no, no, okay, no, yes, they have they have mobilized. You're right. Okay. So I guess we're going to mobilize then as well. But we can't allow only the Americans to be mobilized. Otherwise, you we for sure are going to lose. But I think we need to take defensive positions. We need to try and only fight defensive battles in the mountains. Or maybe, you know, we can also maybe strike at like small armies like this. Yes, Americans are going to retreat. They were going to run away. Will they? They will make it, I think. Thirteen of June will be there on the 9th of June. So we'll, we can fight this 12 stack. Get one kill there. But we need to be very, very picky about our battles. Okay, looks like it's going to be a nice 1.6 for us. We'll go over to here. We're at 1%. Yeah, I, I think that's basically the way we got to do it. We got to basically just stay defensive for as long as possible. Okay, pause. No, pause. 10th of August. 1st of August. Okay, let's run away. Move up north. Come down south. A 37 stack. They got a 39 stack up here. They have 62 divisions. So they're, they're about twice the size of our army right now. Which, I mean, isn't... It's not great. But, I mean, it, it could also be worse. Are you planes? You're grasslands. But the thing is, like, we don't want to be the attacker. Your defense plus three. This guy actually being attacked would be really nice for us. Will you take attrition here? You would. You also would, but not as bad. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, there's a lot of armies up here. But I think as long as we kind of fight everyone, like, one at a time. It's not going to be the worst thing in the world. Ignore the potato blight. Your mountain province. Are you good defense general? Attack plus two.
Get 35 stack. Fighting into the mountains usually is like not great. When are you going to be there? Going to be there on the 16th of November. Reinforce, reinforce. French Revolution has happened. They're once again a Republic. Congratulations. They, they're taking a negative three. We're going to have a plus three attack general come in. Okay, they've at least, they at least reinforced on time. We almost lost that battle. Okay, 400 men. You have to sit back and reinforce. You want to acquire Nevada. I mean, you're already doing a war goal to take all my states, so I guess taking Nevada is not going to really change anything. Okay, we got a nice stack wipe? No? Where are you guys going? Claudia Ada. 